In this track guide, we will be looking at Silverstone, looking at the breaking points, the breaking references and markers, which are objects around the track that we can visually use to memorize where we should be breaking on the track. If you are often spinning out, then I recommend you start braking a little bit earlier than what I show here, until you get used to how the car handles, then you can begin pushing a bit harder. So to start our lap here at Silverstone, for the last couple of corners, we want to be taking them as we usually would during a lap, so we will look at this at the end of the lap. Using all the track available here, moving to the left side of the track now. Uh, preparing for the first turn, we want to be looking for where the green astroturf begins, which I point out on screen here. And then we want to begin turning towards the corner, and only once we reach the white spot on the track, we want to lift off the throttle and turn more towards the corner. For this first turn, we can cut a lot across this curb, but we don't want to go too much because we don't want to unstabilize the car or get an invalid lap. Coasting across this apex and only accelerating once we get past the apex. Moving back to the left side of the track, don't go too much wider than what I show right here because we want to be able to bring the car back to the right a little bit so we can open up our entry line for the next turn, which I'll show here. Then using this left curb to help pull us around, then back to the left again where we will meet our next braking point. Our braking reference for this corner will be the beginning of the curb that I see on the left, which I pointed out and we want to be braking just after this curb begins. Braking hard in a straight line, only turning towards the corner as we get closer to it. Avoid hitting the sausage curb, we don't want to bounce the car up and cause instability. Just avoid hitting the sausage curb, keep tight on the regular curb, and only begin accelerating as you hit the apex or just after it. Moving back to the right side of the track, this is a tricky braking zone because our braking references are hard to see. Our first braking reference will be the end of the curb on the left, brake alongside that, or our second braking reference will be the apex of the turn, when that nearly leaves your vision, that's when you want to begin braking. It's quite difficult, hopefully after some practice you'll be able to get this braking point consistent. We will then want to shift down to first gear, coast a little bit, maybe a little bit of trail braking, and have a mid to late apex on this turn. Again, don't hit the sausage curb, but once you do hit the apex, or just after it, you want to get hard on the throttle, using all the track here, preparing for the next straight. We can cut a lot across this curb that, that's right here, cut right across it to shorten our uh, line for the straight here and then we head down to the next corner, where our next braking reference will be the sign on the outside of the track. We want to be braking a car length or two just before the sign, positioning our car on the curb here, aiming a little bit towards the corner, and then braking hard, shifting down to third gear. We don't want to hit the apex until late into this corner, so stay slightly wide, beginning to turn in, and as we get close to this astroturf here, we can cut across it using all of this astroturf, and don't go into the grass, but once we get our grip, then we can be begin accelerating again. And then move to the next corner, where we have another difficult corner where we have a bit of a double apex line. So we want to hit the, the apex quite early in the corner, carrying some speed. We want to break a little bit before the corner, so we don't carry too much speed. But carrying enough speed so that our car moves a little bit away from the inside mid-corner, and then we bring the car back to the inside on the exit using all the track here to get a nice smooth exit with a lot of speed. For this little turn here, we want to cut across the curb to, to shorten our line just a little bit more, gain a few thousandths of a second, and now we head to Cops, where we can begin the corner on the outside on the curb, and we have a color change in the track. There's a line across the track here where the colors change. We want to be braking just after that line, aiming a little bit towards the corner and shifting down to fourth gear, braking hard and then turning, and we're going to coast here, and only once we hit the apex in the middle of the curb there, then we can begin accelerating again. If you don't hit the apex, if you're a little bit wide of the apex, then you're going to have to wait longer to get on throttle. Now on exit, we want to run quite wide. We want to run out to about where the curb is. You don't really want to get into the astroturf because it's quite slippery and it's easy to spin or lose time there. If you can carry the speed onto the, onto the astroturf without losing time, without getting oversteer, then it may get, allow you to carry a little bit more speed out the corner. But right here, I feel like I carry plenty of speed out just by running out into the curb. Now for mag maggots and beckets, you require a very specific line to get through here quickly. So we want to start off by staying all the way to the left, and then break a little bit, shifting, and then going to the right, cutting all the way across this curb, but I miss it a little bit here. It's still all right. And we're going to break a little bit before we begin turning to the left again, just a little bit, shifting down to fourth. Then we're going to be staying on the inside here, all the way onto the curb, bringing the car to the left, and then we're going to be braking in the middle of this little straight here, between the two corners, shifting down to the third, and using all of the curb on the inside again. Actually using a little bit of the astroturf as well, but only being accelerating once you reach the end of the astroturf. Then we're going to use all the curb again, straightening up our line for the straight, and then moving diagonally across the track towards our next braking point. So our next braking reference will be the beginning of this curb here. We want to be uh, braking a, a car length or two before this curb begins. 
breaking hard, start, starting in sixth gear and beginning to shift down to about fourth or third gear. Uh, our apex will be around about mid corner in third gear here and coasting. And once our car begins to grip and pull back to the inside, when we hit that apex, we can begin accelerating again. If you've got the, the line perfect, then you might be able to begin accelerating before you hit the apex. And then on exit, we have another another area of astroturf. We can afford to put two wheels on the, onto the astroturf here. If you go a little bit wider than this, you maybe you've accelerated a little bit too early. But this line on this lap was quite ideal. You won't get too much oversteer unless you put all wheels onto the astroturf. So you should have, should have a straight line here down to the final chicane. And our next braking reference will be the beginning of this curb. You want to brake either as the curb begins or just before it. Braking hard, staying on the outside because you want to get this corner, this next corner, the beginning of the chicane, perfect. Shifting down to second gear, tucking the car right next to the sausage curb. Don't hit it, but be very tight to the sausage curb. You want to be able to pull the car left and around the sausage curb to again open your line for the next turn. So I'll show you that here. Keeping to the left, around about the middle of the track, then we're going to pull the car back to the right very quickly and cut right across this curb as much as we can without getting onto the grass. And then after we turn, we get back on the throttle, then moving towards the left side of the track. We can use the curb, but don't go onto the AstroTurf because there you will oversteer or you will understeer. You will lose time, so don't go out to the AstroTurf. And for the final turn, again, do not hit the sausage curb. Just get close to it, giving yourself that shortest line possible to the finish line. And using all the track, we head to the finish line, and this lap was 159.4 here. It was a good lap. There's a, definitely a few improvements that could have been made, especially through maggots and beckets, but overall, a very nice and clean lap. And now I'll let you watch a lap where I do that. Uh, it's the same lap. I just won't comment. I won't commentate over it, so you can listen to it without the distractions. I'll talk to you at the end of the lap. We now come towards the final corner again. This has been a lap at Silverstone. I really hope this has helped you out. If you're struggling, make sure to brake a little bit earlier than what I show here. Maybe take the corners a little bit softer than what I've been showing you until you're more comfortable with the, what the car does. If you're oversteering, just slow the car, the car down more before the turns and then get on the throttle after the apexes. I hope this has helped.